Well, I have a few different stories I want to talk about today. The first story I want to talk about is that infrastructure bill. So where is that going? Uh, how is the negotiations going? Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about that. I also want to talk about the electronic payments. I was able to get some confirmation from a few people about receiving their electronic payments yesterday for that third stimulus check. So we're going to talk about that. And then I also want to talk about President Biden. He is now calling out Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema when it comes to their voting record. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. And then there's this viral video, and I'm sure you've, you've seen it. It's been out for a couple of days now uh, of a young lady pushing a bear over a wall. So I was able to find the video where she was actually interviewed. So you can see her thought process and why she did what she did. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please hit the like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out. A video. Okay, so the first story we're going to talk about today is the infrastructure bill. So Senator Capito and President Biden met yesterday, and this is an ongoing negotiation when it comes to this infrastructure bill, the first infrastructure bill, the roads, bridges, and broadband. Now, they didn't move forward with anything yesterday, and that's no surprise. I don't see them moving forward with anything, and I don't even think that this negotiation is going to work. And the major reason why I don't think it will work is because they cannot agree on how to pay for this. And so that's the important part. If it doesn't matter how much the amount is, the right now they're talking about 928 billion. That's what the, the Republicans uh, want to offer. The Democrats at this point are at 1.7 trillion. I'm sure they can meet somewhere in the middle, but it will not matter. That top line number does not matter if they can't not figure out how to pay for it. And that is what they're stuck on right now. The Democrats want to raise the corporate tax rate from 21% to 28%. The Republicans don't want to do that. The Republicans want to have user fees like a gas tax increase as well as maybe a mileage tax. So that's what they're looking at. Now, it's, it's important for us to understand, too, when it comes to new money, the Republicans offer $928 billion. New money, $257 billion. So if you look at this new money, this $257 billion, a lot of the money that the Republicans want for this bill, it's it's repurposed. So if you're, if you're looking at a $928 billion bill, and 257 billion is new money, then all everything else is, is coming from somewhere else. It's all repurposed. So we're gonna have to follow this, continue to follow it. They will be meeting again. So Senator Capito and President Biden will be meeting again on Friday. Uh, so tomorrow we'll see what comes of it. But at this point, this is it. So Friday will be their last negotiation, I would think. And then we'll go in until Monday. And if nothing is, is agreed upon by Monday, that's when President Biden and Congress is going to have to move forward. Okay, so the, the leaders in Congress are going to have to say, okay, look, this bipartisan thing did not work. Let's go ahead and move forward with this infrastructure bill, which I think is going to happen anyways. I still don't see them coming to any type of agreement before Monday. So I'm thinking reconciliation is the way that they're going to go. So as far as electronic payments, I was able to confirm that a few people did receive their plus up payments. Uh, as well as people, if you're filing your taxes, so if you just filed your taxes and the IRS now has information so they can go ahead and send out uh, checks, they're starting to do that as well. And people are receiving their electronic payments that way. So Wednesdays, look for Wednesdays. That's when they will go out as well as checks. Checks will be mailed out to you throughout the week. Uh, so keep an eye open for those. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about the child tax credit. So the child tax credit will be starting July 15th. And prior to that, so we should, it, within weeks, we should start seeing this portal. The IRS, they're going to open up two portals, and they're going to allow you to update your information if you need to do that. They're also going to allow you to opt out of the monthly payment. So this is very important for people who do not want the monthly payments. They just want to do the lump sum. So when they file their two, uh, 2021 taxes in 2022, they'll get that lump sum, either 3000 or 3600 depending on how old your child is. If you guys want to know more information about the child tax credit, I'll post a link up here so you can check it out. I did a video where I detailed uh, the plan. So that's what we're looking at right now when it comes to the child tax credit. So July 15th, and then after July 15th, the 15th of every month, that's when you will get your monthly payment if you do opt for the monthly payment. Okay, so let's talk about President Biden. So President Biden, he called out Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema, uh, basically saying that they, they vote with Republicans uh, frequently is basically what he was saying. And so the White House tried to pull back on that just a little bit. You don't want to upset the, the moderate Democrats. And the reason why you don't want to do that is because one of those moderate Democrats could say, you know what, I'm not getting any support from the Democrats. I'm going to move over to the Republicans. And if that happens, well, now we have a shift of power in the Senate. 
And so they don't want to upset Senator Manchin and Senator Cinema. However, they want Senator Manchin and Senator Cinema to understand, hey, look, we need to come together so we can get some things done because most likely they're going to lose either the House or the Senate in, in 2022. That's just the way it is. That's just the history of of uh, of our government, because usually if you have one party that controls everything, that next election, usually they'll lose at least a House or a Senate or even the White House. So we'll have to see where it, where it goes when it comes to this. But at this point right now, President Biden is kind of he's calling them out and saying, look, you, you need to help. You need to help us. You need to support us so we can move forward uh, with our agenda, because this is this is really important too. when when you're looking at this. This is President Biden's only real opportunity. And that's another reason why I think budget reconciliation is, is the right way to go, because this is his only opportunity. And next next year will be an election year. So a lot of things are going to be uh, stalled. If you can get everything done, that will allow the politicians who are running for, for reelection to focus on their reelection. And then we can also see these bills actually have an effect. So if you get things done this year, then next year we'll start seeing some of the, the progress that's been made when it comes to some of these bills. So for President Biden, it'll be very, very important for him to push his agenda through this year. So he's gonna need the support of, of Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema, and hopefully, hopefully they will understand that and they'll move forward. Uh, but if they if, if they do try to stall things, it's really not gonna be good because now not only can you not do a bipartisan a bill, but you can't do a bill even with reconciliation because you can't get the majority of Democrats on board. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about this viral video. Now this was a pretty amazing thing that this young lady did. And so I'm gonna show you the video, we'll show you the interview, and then we'll talk about it on the other end. Here we go. This is quite the story. A 17-year-old Bradbury girl runs right up to a mama bear and pushes her off a wall, all to protect her dog. Security camera caught the action. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Cheney spoke to the young woman who explains what she was thinking at the time. I had it in me, to be honest. Like, who does that? Who in their right mind pushes a bear? It was a quiet Monday afternoon until a bear makes its way into this Bradbury backyard. The dogs run out, and then 17-year-old Haley follows them out of the house. Honestly, Is that I crazy? did not know it was a bear until right after I pushed it. I didn't register in my head that it was a bear. I was like, it's an animal, and it's taking my, my child. And I pushed the bear, and I was like, oh my god, I just pushed a bear. Haley pushed the bear away and protected the family's three dogs. Her mother was shocked when she saw the video. I just break down every time I see him. Yeah, it's it's just horrifying to watch. Haley said she came away from the incident with only a sprained finger on the hand she pushed the bear with and scrapes on her knee. She and the dogs are okay, including her mom's service animal. I didn't want to know what would happen if the bear hurt her or like even took her. So I had to do what I had to do. A local wildlife expert says what Haley did was dangerous and it's better to stay in the house or prevent the bear from even getting into the backyard. All the bear has to do is go like this and half of your face is gone. Maybe um, had a slingshot or a noise maker or something, but then all the dogs were there. She was, so, you know, I, I, all I can say is I'm happy that nothing bad happened, but if you live in those communities, you need to be constantly alert that that as the development has encroached into the native territory, you're going to have those encounters more and more. So that is amazing, right? So this young lady, she just got that tunnel vision, saw that her dogs were in danger, saw that there was an animal there, didn't register that that was a bear, and then just charged it and pushed the bear over the wall. Uh, and the, the, the mama bear had her cubs with her. So... She's really defensive at this point, the, 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 the mama bear, because she's got, she's got her cups that she's trying to take care of. So just, I mean, crazy, really crazy video. And you saw that that wildlife expert said, do not approach a bear like that. Don't uh, try to push a bear or anything like that. It's best that you just stay in the house. So that was a pretty close call, but I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about bears? Have you seen a bear? How would you have handled the situation? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.